Hello, witches and wizards, and welcome to this fun crafting video by me, Greg, who some of you may know from the Potter community as the Greg Who Lived. Now, I know that many of you have been following the Harry Potter at home activities over the past couple of months, and I wanted to offer my own activity so that you guys can get creative and make a little magic at home during lockdown. As some of you may already know, I love making Harry Potter costumes like this one, which is of course my Ravenclaw cloak, but you will notice that there is one thing that I am missing with this costume. And that, of course, is a house tie. Now, in this video, I'm gonna be showing you how you can make your very own Hogwarts house ties out of paper and also some Hogwarts themed house bows and bow ties. They are super simple to follow and hopefully they will add a bit of extra magic to your Harry Potter costumes. Of course, the first step is knowing which Hogwarts house you're in. Is it Hufflepuff, Ravenclaw, Slytherin or Gryffindor, just like Harry? And there's one place you have to go to find that out and that is, of course, the Wizarding World website where you can do the Sorting Hat quiz and find out which Hogwarts house you are in. Once you know what house you're in, we can begin. To make paper ties, you will need the following. A paper or card template, which you can find online. This is the one that I found, which suited me. I had to cut it off in two parts so it would fit, but you need to make sure you have this top section. A pair of cutting scissors some paper glue or gum glue, a pencil and a ruler, and then some colouring in equipment. I'm using pens, but you can use paints, crayons, pencils, whatever you feel comfortable with. And lastly, some string. If not, you can always use a ribbon. Step one is to print or draw your design. As you can see here, I decided to print mine out, which went over two bits of paper. But if you'd like it on one bit of paper, you can scale it down and there's no problem in drawing your own. We then need to draw this top section in two so that eventually we can cut around it, fold it, and then glue it over the string. Step two is to cut out your pattern, as you can see that I'm doing here. If you need some help, please do ask a grown-up wizard to help you cut your pattern out. This little extra 2.5 step is just for people like me who had to print their tie on two bits of paper. All we're gonna use is some glue to simply stick them together and line them up so they match. I'm also gonna use a tiny bit here just to make sure it's completely stuck down. Step three is to draw on your house stripes. Now I did these at a diagonal just using a ruler and a pencil and you can draw on as many or as little stripes as you like. Step four is to color in your design and this is the fun bit. Go wild, use as many colors or as little colors as you like. You can stick to just the traditional Hogwarts colors or you can draw on whatever you wish. Here you can see I went for Ravenclaw, which is bronze and blue, but if you're in any of the other houses, of course, you can do your house colours. Step five is to glue the knot in place, and I'm just using a bit more glue here, applying it to the tie, and then we're going to stick down the knot over the top of the bottom section, and look how the colours and overall design match up really nicely together. Step number six is to cut your string to size, and for this, you might need an adult wizard to help measure your neck, so that you can cut the right amount of string and remember to add a bit extra for the bow at the back. And lastly, step seven is to glue everything in place. Now you want to place your string over your tie and then add a bit of glue just to the bottom section of the knot. You're then gonna fold over the top piece of paper, glue it into place like so, and then you need to make sure the string will just pull through both sides perfectly. And there we have it, your Hogwarts house tie. And here is me wearing my very own Hogwarts Ravenclaw house tie. And of course, you can also create the other three houses that go with Ravenclaw. So we have a Slytherin, Gryffindor and Hufflepuff tie. And of course, the design starts white. So it really is up to you how you colour in your own Hogwarts house tie. Now that we've done the paper ties, let's move on to the bow ties. To make the hair bows or bow ties, you will need the template for your fabric pieces, and I've included the measurements in centimetres and inches. Material to make your bows, and here I've used a scrap of fabric, but you could use felt, old t-shirts, or even old tablecloths. Scissors for cutting both fabric and paper. As you can see here, I've got two different sets. Elastic bands, and these will be used to hold your bows in place. 
glue dots or fabric glue to make sure everything is stuck in the correct position. And lastly, you'll need a ribbon for bow ties or pins if you're deciding to make hair bows. Step one is to print and cut out your template pieces. Remember to ask a grown up if you need help measuring or cutting your template out. Step two is to then cut out your fabric using your template pieces. Step three is to then fold and glue your fabric in place. To begin, we're gonna fold it in half and then crease the fabric several times so we can see a clear halfway mark. Then, using a couple of glue dots, we're going to stick down this half of the fabric so it's perfectly halfway. We are then gonna repeat this step, but do it for the top section and fold it down. Step four is gonna be repeating this step, but we're gonna do it sideways and we're gonna fold the fabric in half and crease it so we get the nice middle fold once again. We're then going to unfold it, fold it back on itself, and then we will apply some glue dots so that it sticks perfectly in the middle. And it should look like this. Step five, we're gonna be folding the smaller bit of fabric and we're gonna fold this into thirds. So first, fold one half, apply a glue dot and stick it down. You then should end up with a strip. For step six, we're going to pinch together the larger rectangle and this will make the bow tie. So pinch it together in half and then pinch the top section towards the middle and then the bottom section also towards the middle. And then holding it together, this creates your bow tie shape. Step seven, we're going to use the elastic band and we're going to wrap it around the middle of the bow tie, making sure we wrap all the pieces within the band Try and get as many wraps as you can as this will make a much tighter bow tie and ask an adult wizard to help you if you're struggling with this step. You should end up with something that looks like this. And there we have it. Step number eight is to glue your strip to the bow tie. So I have stuck a glue dot onto the strip. I'm applying it onto the elastic band and then we're going to hide this by wrapping it all the way around. You then want to apply another glue dot just here and that will keep everything nice and in place. At this point you can just ruffle your bow tie into the correct position and make sure it's looking as magical as possible. The final step, step nine, is to add your ribbon for bow ties and your hairpins if you're making hair bows. So for the bow ties, you're just going to take your ribbon or you could use string as an alternative. You're going to put it over your bow tie and then fold the strip over the top. You'll then secure this with a sticky dot and that will keep everything nice and in shape. Also make sure that you can pull the ribbon through. Now to make hair bows, all we're simply going to do is put a hairpin in. And there we have it. We have hair bows and bow ties in your Hogwarts house colours. And that is your two crafts completed. I really hope you've enjoyed this video and it's helped bring some magic into your home during lockdown. Now for more creative ideas and DIY videos and plenty more magic, please visit the Wizarding World website where you can find games, crafts and all sorts to do with the Wizarding World. Now you have your costume finished, I guess you are ready to go to Hogwarts. And with that, I wish you good luck. For more magic, you can join the Harry Potter fan club at wizardingworld.com where you can hear the latest chapter from Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone and get involved in more crafts to try at home with a make your own Hedwig or Aragog the Spider.